called us here what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying, but we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you and your crew be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done. Or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues. A missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. That the truth? Because I can't say it's going to be easy work. But if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. I appreciate the moxie. But let's just start with the one. But if you're going to be helping us, well, you should know who it is you're working with first. Who? The staff here, we come from some challenging backgrounds. Nearly all of us have spent time behind bars at one point or another. But our plan is to make this place, the retreat, into something we wish we'd all had. A place to help the galaxies incarcerated get themselves on firmer footing. We'll bring them here, pay off their bounties, get them job training and a support network. Help them build regular, stable, boring lives to keep them out of the system for good. But I won't pretend that that sort of work doesn't make some people uncomfortable, so I just wanted to make sure... <laughs> Money talks. I'm glad it won't be an issue. First place you'll want to start is the infirmary. Our security officer, Greg D'Angelo, was in the process of tracking our missing person, a Mr. Kilman, but was injured in the process. He should be able to get you pointed in the right direction. I am skeptical of whether this retreat will achieve its goals, but I applaud their efforts. What are you saying, Britt? Uh, who are you? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixil's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there.
Oh! Need a moment to walk that off? like this can be an excellent way to conceal the presence of an illegal operation. Another way through here. I'm sure where it leads. Did you hear something? Please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say. Just please, not the bag. Oh, there's something deeper going on here. What happened? You're... you're not here to... I... I was kidnapped. He caught me off guard after hours. Threw a bag over my head and marched me off. But I escaped. But then these creatures started hunting me. So I ran in here, and I've got no food, and I'm so hungry, and... Please, take me back. I just want to go home. No, no, he kept the bag over me the whole time. I heard his voice, but he honestly didn't... I'm just... I need this to be over. Please. Please, can we go? Please? Do not fear. Your trial is at an end. Oh, thank God. You don't know... You, you do know the way back, right? Bro, we literally just went up this way.
Killman. Killman's back! Mother of God, kid. What happened? I was walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks bagged him, huh? Us? Why the hell did we do that? Rambling kid, come on. Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like you as well. Mr. Captain, I have some medical training. I think we have to do it. You stay here. I want whoever kid that went in, found or in death. Understand? I don't care if it's real people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find it then. Of course. We'll do what we can. But. I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Thank you. Ah, uh, I, I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? The money's good. Fine. I'm sure I can convince Nevin to trim some fat in the construction budget. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. Yeah, didn't he? Industrial antiseptic would be my guess. I know that smell. There was a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here, the facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find. have a sit here, right? They've got to scrap the job, right?
possible enemy activity. I will investigate. <laughs> not to leave anything useful behind. Some? Mm -hmm. Goodbye.
Come on. There are worlds to conquer. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god, it's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. Trackers? Consider yourselves lucky to still be alive. It appears we have been fortunate. But it does beg the question. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. ...and make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours... I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. 
Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? I'm sure we can find a way to solve this issue, which won't require bloodshed. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the Great Beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. They're afraid. And I... So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is... Good luck out there. You're looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. You would be correct, Mr. D'Angelo. Did I mention thanks for taking... Had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into you get into it to be your own boss and prove how. Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. These bounty hunters need to be. I think you should offer them money. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Wow. Take care, please.
Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. It is a reasonable request. You would do well to consider it. That's so. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. Listen, it's not like this is personal. We haven't made much headway so far, have we? Last thing we need is trouble with the Alliance. Well, more trouble. Fine, we'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? Piss off. Need to figure out where the hell we're going next. There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, 
we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. You would think that deadly predators would have driven off settlers. <laughs> Humans. We can be so stubborn. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. 
You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one. You're not to share anything you discuss with me. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, please, I insist. Sit and we can get to the business at hand. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you, I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project I've been trying to foster for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Ah, I'll be sure that's noted. But you did manage to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I suspect there was more to it, but I suppose that'll be enough for the report. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Remember, what you and Miss Lance discussed stays between you two. Got it?
not sure rehabilitation can be a valid alternative to incarceration. But I would be happy to be proven wrong. This place. So, because of this little episode with the trackers, Nevins agreed to let me hire my own security team. Nevins know we need it. I miss the sound of power tools. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our, uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. She can be a hammer when the situation requires, but this project holds a pretty special place in her heart, so I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality, opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. Not in the cards this time. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open. <laughs>